You can also add functions to your classes and you just go inside of your class definition and start typing your function name. So we'll create a function called full name, which will return a string. And then inside of here, we'll just use some string interpolation. And we'll say first name, and then we'll say last name with the dollar bracket syntax there, and that will return us the full name of the user. Now you may be noticing I'm not using the brackets around here. If I need to use the brackets, we can, um, only time we would is if we're using some property off of this. So maybe I wanted to get the length and you'll notice how IntelliJ added those brackets there for me. Anytime I am doing anything off of this main expression here, it's going to require we put it in brackets. Now, if I do remove this, I can still have brackets here. This will compile and this will work, but notice there's a little gray squiggly here. It's kind of hard to see. If I put that there, I'll get a little light bulb and click on it or hit Alt Enter and we'll see remove curly braces. And if I do that, it'll just automatically remove them because we don't need them here. Now, this could also be cleaned up a little bit further as well. So we could kind of turn this into a single line function really easily. And we could just go ahead and get rid of this and make it equal that. And we can make it a very small, succinct little function. Now to call this, we would go back to our main file here and we say user.fullName. So we'd actually see that it's a function here. And of course, if we now run it, we will see that we have the name, first name John, last name Franks, and it just puts out John Franks. And again, if we wanted to, again, do something different, we could do dot length, and for whatever reason, it would say John, and then the length of the actual last name, which we'd see here as soon as it compiles. John six, because the word Franks has six characters in it. And so you can continually keep adding different functions here. So you could even add a different function here, say full name length, and this one could be very similar again. This one might return an int this time, and we could either do it on a single line expression or multi-line like we're doing here. And we could do something, even have one function call another function and say, hey, let me see, you get the length of that. And then we can also print this here. And I'll go ahead and go to full name length. And when we run this again, we're going to see that we get the John six again, because we did the full name. Let's fix that real fast because we don't want the length anymore on the last name. We just wanted to say John Franks as the actual output. And then we want to actually show the length of the name. And so we're doing that here. So we say John Franks and then the full name length is 11. So we have one function here. It's calling another function. We don't have to do this. I could replicate this functionality down here by doing this, I'm going to comment this out. And I could say return this dot length and it would give us the same exact thing. But at this point we have some code duplication and that's just usually not a good thing because if for some reason I decide that I want the full name to have a hyphen in it, well now this length here is not going to be the same as the full name length. Now it kind of depends on what kind of app you're building and if you need that functionality. So I usually recommend, okay, if you already have a function that provides that value, just go ahead and call that function and then it will be updated. So in this case, it's going to add us two additional characters here because we have an additional space and a hyphen. So instead of the 11, we should get back a 13 as we have here. And that's how you add just very basic functions to your actual class. And you can continually adding it as many as you would like inside of the class body here. Uh, they can reference the members, they can perform different operations. Uh, they can even alter the members as well. So if we wanted to do that, we'd say fun, you know, um, update full name for whatever reason with uh, suffix. And we might have pass in a suffix of some sort and that suffix might be a string. And we might do something like this, so first name, equals, let's say suffix, and then we'd say first name. And then what we would do here is we'd go back to this area here on our main file, and we want to say user.update full name with suffix, and then we'll say Mr. And then as this prints, it should say Mr. John, which sounds a little weird, but that's how it's going to look. And we see Mr. John down here in the output. And that's how you can add and continually add additional functions inside of your class.